Estamos en Comic Con y estoy en Super 7 y vamos a ver qué tal está. So first off we have Frozen Lion O. So this is uh, the scene on the Hook Mountain where he's frozen in the snow and he turns blue. But this is done in a UV plastic. So when you take it outside in the sunlight, he will warm up back to orange like the real toy. I mean like the real Lion O would. And then we have a comic book version ultimate of Cobra Bat. So in the comic books, he's got different elbows and forearms and hands. He's got a different head and he's blue instead of black. And it also comes with the spore canister. So it's a whole different version of Cobra Bat from the comic books. Uh, then, because we're all eating badly, we have Cornholio with the teepee for his bunghole. So Cornholio with toilet paper. We have the Glow Godzilla figures. We have Godzilla 54, Jet Jaguar, and Mecha Godzilla 74. Mm -hmm. And then we do My Pet Monster. This one's in pastel glow. And it comes, he's breaking out of the TV in this box. And then lastly, we have Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is the AHI sculpt, the vintage AHI sculpt, shrunk down to three and three quarter with the wide hips and done in glow in the dark in vintage packaging. Then we come down to the worst, which you guys know is our baby. So we have four worst figures. We have X1, X2, uh, Killer Bat, and King Hell, all in various glow in the dark colors on Remco tribute cards. So done like the 70s Remco glow in the dark monster figures. Then we've got Gem and Pizzazz from Gem and the Holograms. And these are recolored to match the original box art and then we've shrunk down the original boxes for them. And then our last exclusive here is the SpongeBob and Patrick Best Friends Forever set. So it's a die cut heart that splits in half and each figure is translucent and with glitter. So translucent yellow with gold glitter and translucent pink with red glitter. Awesome. So that's the exclusives for San Diego. Right. We're just trying to make fun stuff that we want to have for our collections. And as one of the things that we came back to, which I think we're talking about here, was Super Size was just, you know, what is that really beautiful expression of toys? Like some toys are made to be action figures. Some toys are made to be different things. And in this case, especially with animated figures. We really want to do this large scale figure that's a combination of vinyl, but also soft goods. So it's got real clothes with real tailoring and everything's very refined and very fine. Just, just that, that statement piece you can have if you're that fan. And so that's where we really went. We started with Peanuts a number of years ago. And then, uh, you know, we did Charlie Brown. We've got Snoopy. So if you know Snoopy, Charlie Brown adopted him from the Daisy Hill Puppy Farms. Yeah. So this is the adoption box with the holes in it like you would get from the adoption. And then it comes with a certificate of adoption. So you can adopt a life-size Snoopy. And the red shirt for Charlie Brown is in books. He often had a red shirt yeah. where in uh, the, yeah. a, the animated yeah. shows it's yellow. yellow yeah. And then, uh, yeah, then we talked about Disney and then we have socks. So this is a life-size socks from the new Lightyear movie. And so the director of Lightyear is a huge toy collector and a friend of ours. And so he wanted us to be involved in the toy program for Lightyear. And one of the things we wanted to do was make socks in life-size. And crazy enough, they gave us the model for socks. And when we made one, while they were animating the movie, they were trying to figure out what would happen if he fell off a desk, off a table. So they actually, we gave them a physical output of our version. They videotaped it falling off a table, then animated it to match. So full circle with the toy. Wow. The Ultimates, we're just showing off a lot of the pre-orders that happen right now. We just opened the Shogun three and three quarter pre-order. So this is the jumbo Shogun scaled down to ultimate size with the firing fist, with the lever, just like the toy you remember. This is the uh, Mutagen Ooze Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So they look like the Mutagen Ooze can color, but they also glow in the dark. And, and then the colors of the belts come from the vintage toy. 
So there's a, a tweak on the vintage toys on that that came with the different colored belts. This is the new wave of Simpsons, wave three. We've got Ralph Wiggum, uh, Montgomery Burns, and we have Kang and Kodos. And you see how massive Kang and Kodos are. They're gigantic. It's amazing. And then Toxic Crusaders. So we've made Toxie a number of times over the years and people are always asking for more Toxie. So we've come back and made a cartoon accurate Toxie along with Junkyard and Radiation Ranger. So a super cool set. Lots of people that bought Turtles also love you know, Toxic Crusaders. Yeah. Um, below that, we have the new major wrestling podcast figures. So we have Matt Cardona and Brian Myers. These are really cool. And then we have the first two waves. These are just resin masters, but the first two waves of Godzilla Ultimate. So we have Godzilla versus Biollante and Burning Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla. So really big, super cool, crazy Ultimates. And then down at the bottom, we have pre-production samples of G.I. Joe Ultimates Wave 1. So you've got Cobra Bat, Cobra Commander, Duke and Snake Eyes, along with Timber. And then we have a test shot over here of Mandora and her Electra Charger. So this is actual plastic on those. Not painted, but test shots of Mandora and the Electra Charger. Thank you very much. Everybody, have a great day.